Hey guys, welcome back to part 4 of how to make a Discord bot in Discord.py. In today's video, we are going to be going over how to make the bot send custom emojis and as well as Discord's default emojis. And also, we are going to be going over how to make embeds. So let's get right into today's video. So the way Discord renders emojis, there are three ways. The first way is Unicode emojis here. Like I can copy, you can go to emojipedia.org and you can just copy any emoji you, you, you like. Like this fire emoji, I'm just gonna copy that. And then if you go to our code editor, let's just make a command quickly. Command and then async dev emoji ctx. Now we need to make await ctx dot send and then we just paste our paste the emoji there and as you can see the Unicode emoji it shows up as that. Now if you run this then the bot will send us the emoji fire emoji and if you even paste it here it shows us that so if you do emoji real quick it will sh it will send the fire emoji fire emoji is the default emoji you can copy any emoji and it will send send there it's basically unicode emoji the second way is the way i showed you guys here um wait cts dot send um let's send uh smile smile let's send smile emoji let's go to our editor and smile now if we save and run this <coughs> emoji and it will send us smile emoji now there are different ways to send this kind of emoji but that's one of the easiest way to send the default emojis now to send the custom emojis i've put up put a animated and a non-animated one and i I've, I've written down here to send animated emojis to discord the bot reads the emojis as like this first the emoji name and then emoji id so if you want to send a non-animated emoji such as um noise emoji i just added now to get the id when i'm in the id you just hover over it then go over here and then just copy image id paste it and delete everything in front of the numbers and everything behind the numbers then this is the way discords this the bot bots render emojis so if we if i add the add the lesser than then it will just become an emoji as you can see that is the way the bots bots render emojis the non-animated to render the animated emojis you have to put a a in front and a column in front of the emoji name so that it renders it as the animated emoji so if we try rendering it without the by if you try rendering it the way we see it then it will not work like um noise noise so if we run this emoji <coughs> it could not render noise because it didn't know what to send so it just sent noise as a text message so to make it render it correctly we have to add this here 
and then the ID, emoji ID. Then we just do this, and now if we run this, it will send us a non-animated emoji, which is this emoji. Nice. So now it sends the noise emoji. So now if you want it to send animated emojis, what do we do? I just set it there. Here is right here. To send animated emojis, you have to put an A in front of the D in front of both of this. So ctx.send A and then Neon Cat. I just said this. I have that emoji uh, here. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, Neon, Neon Cat. Let me just take it, please. Please, noise, noise. Okay. Copy image address and then if you paste it right there. Let's do that. Excuse me. So if we save and run this, then it should send a animated emoji right here. If you do this, then it will send a animated. It should send an animated emoji. Neon cat. This part of the video was corrupted. The file was corrupted after I recorded. After I checked the file, it was corrupted. So I'm gonna record this again. So as I was saying, you can the Discord renders non-animated emojis like this and animated emojis like this. And there was no hyphen in the middle of the emoji name. So if we save this and then run this. Our bot will come online and then if we type emoji then it will send the emojis and then now let's see how to make embeds now we made a embed here but it was a very, it was a very small and beginning to embed so now let's make a better one so let's do client dot command Parentheses, async, def, and um, version. So the people can type the command and then they can see the code version and bot version. So version, we have to do the, we have to type the embed's name. Like you can name it anything that equals to Discord dot embed. Then we need to include the title. Um, version. And then I'm not gonna include the description. Color goes to. So whenever we make the color, we need to add the 0 and X. I'm just gonna add a color that I memorized. It's like a blue color. Then timestamp. Also, ctx dot message dot cre created at, and then now we can just type version dot, and then it will pop up the list of things we can add. Add field. We have to do add field, and then name. The add field has a different kind of in different kind of values inside the parentheses. So name. Um, code version, code version, and then I'm gonna put it as a value. Value is value in in add field. Is there is no description. There is value. Code version version one point zero. Then um, inline. Now inline is something you can mess with and see what it does. I have done it here, so 
I have set it to false because it looks better as false. You can see how it looks. This is inline. This is the embed without inline, and this is with inline. You can use as as you prefer, but I prefer false. So ver version dot add field name equals to bot bot version colon and then value equals to v1.0 again in line it's okay if you don't type in line it'll set as false as it'll set false as default but i recommend you do then we're gonna add for version dot footer we're gonna add a footer so you have to do set footer and then text footer cell values inside the parentheses are also different now we have to make it an F string by putting F in front of the double quotes or even single quotes. What the F string does is it's format. It's like format. If you don't put F string and then if you want to put something there, then we have to do this and then type dot format and it's a bit confusing also. So it's better if you use F string. So we need to do requested by ctx dot auto. Now what this does is like in a few bots like maybe Dino, I have seen in a few bots what the what they do is in, under in the footer of the embed it says requested by the person who used the command. So this is what it basically does. It says requested by the person who used the command. Then icon URL. Um, icon URL. Now what this is for is you can put any URL here just by doing this and then you can put a URL for your icon but what I have seen in others other bots and also what I like to do is do this so whenever in the footer it is requested by CTX author which is example if i use the command it will say requested by db player and then my icon url it will send my icon in the icon url it will look for my avatar's url and it will paste it there then there will also be a timestamp at what time the message was created now to send the embed we just do ctx.send and then embed equals to the name of the embed now if we save and um now if we save this and then run this the bot should come online it will say streaming python and it says hello i'm online and now if we do um version it will send a embed that says version code version is 1.0 and bot version is 1.0 and it says requested by the player and the icon url my icons url and also it says the time also at it will also send the timestamp at what time i have created this message i don't know about the timestamp it doesn't seem that perfect because oh wait it is perfect the time is just different here it's just 9 46 p.m. and it's just 9 46 p.m. but it's actually not 9 46 p.m. what anyways i hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any queries then go f be free to go down below and comment that comment your questions in the comment section down below and even if you have any problems you can ask me in my discord server you can join it the link will be in the description down below and anyways i'll see you next time